CBS News special report. I'm Margaret Brennan in Washington. It appears the U.S. military has launched a missile strike in Iraq. The strikes appear to be retaliation for an attack against the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad on Tuesday. Tonight, Iraqi State TV is reporting that among the people killed is Qasem Soleimani, a revered Iranian general and one of that country's most powerful military leaders. He's considered by the U.S. to be a terrorist. David Martin is live at the Pentagon tonight. David, if this is true, it would be a significant escalation with Iran, and it could be interpreted as going to war. I think so. You accurately described him as uh, one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful, military figure in Iran. He is the person who conducts operations against the U.S., against Israel, in places like Iraq, Syria, Lebanon. He has been responsible for the deaths, literally, of hundreds of Americans who were killed during the height of the Iraq war as a result of operations that he mounted. It's hard to uh, come up with his counterpart in the U.S. government, but this is a person with the, uh, the stature of the Secretary of State, the Director of the CIA, the Secretary of Defense, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and you can imagine what the U.S. reaction would be if Iran killed one of those figures. And if, indeed, it turns out that the U.S. has uh, killed Soleimani, then I think Iran will take this as an act of war. All right. Uh, we're having some troubles there with audio. Um, but as David was just describing, Qasem Soleimani, according to the U.S. State Department, uh, he and his followers are responsible for killing uh, at least 600 Americans in Iraq between 2003 and 2011. He is a significant Iranian general. Uh, Iraqi State TV reporting this. We have not confirmed it. The U.S. government has not confirmed it. But it is a significant escalation in these tensions between the U.S. and I Iran. Our coverage will continue on CBSN. For those of you, uh, there will be more on the CBS Evening News. Primetime will continue. This has been a CBS News special report. I'm Margaret Brennan, CBS News, Washington.